So no, the title of this video is not clickbait. This is air power. In September of 2017, Apple shocked the world by announcing something revolutionary, a wireless charger that let you place your devices anywhere. It was a truly radical idea, so radical in fact that Apple never actually figured out how to make it. They abandoned the project a couple years ago, and it has since been made even further obsolete by the arrival of excellent MagSafe chargers like this Belkin one that just completely negate the need for air power in the first place. But they don't negate the need for today's video sponsor, iFixit, the ProTech Toolkit, which is what you need if you need to dissect any weird Apple prototype chargers, is my go-to for any repair task. Big thanks to them for being a longtime supporter of the channel. You can check out repair guides, parts, and tools with the link in the description below. But now let's dig into that air power, shall we? <clears throat> this actual air power prototype was lent to me by Donglebook Pro, who you can find linked in the description below. And it is actually like legitimately insane that this is a real thing. Oh yeah, and it works. So obviously this prototype here doesn't have the fit and finish. It doesn't have the rubberized outer coating that you would see on a final version, but that allows us to look at the internals with detail that you otherwise wouldn't get. Now, this particular prototype is a pretty early one. It's from a year before Apple actually unveiled AirPower, and this specific one has 16 charging coils, and they're all controlled from this chip here. This is the same charging chip that you would basically find on an iPhone. So Apple was clearly trying to do most of the work here with AirPower with the same technology that they were already using. So that's a pretty cheap chip. It's about $4 per chip, and they've got it on the back of this extremely complex logic board. I mean, there's really no other word for this. There's an insane amount going on here. And there's a couple of things that stand out as evidence of this being a pretty early prototype. One of that would be these white text labels that you can see pretty much all over the place. That is a staple of Apple prototypes. The other thing that you'll notice is we have a lot of these transistors here, which are actually hand soldered. So you can look closely and see they're not even, they're not clean. These are definitely done by hand. So a lot of work and engineering was going into this thing. Now, one thing that is immediately gonna stand out is this grid of metal. And that actually serves, I guess, two main functions. Number one is gonna be for structure. And then the other purpose is for cooling because this thing has 16 wireless charging coils in an area that's this big. The density is absolutely insane. Like that is the kind of level of engineering that went into what is effectively a big charger. It's just a big charger and they have like this insane grid with all of these, oh my God. So over engineered. This is so unnecessary. So part of the thermal issue with getting these air powers to work is the general idea for this was that you could put pretty much whatever on it, right? You could put your iPhone, you could put your Apple Watch, you could put your AirPods. But because the Apple Watch has always had that magnetic charging puck and on this, it would just be anywhere. Essentially what Apple did, it seems, is just blast a ton of charge juice at the Apple Watch so that it would actually have enough to charge. And that's one of the reasons why this thing is absolutely loaded to the brim with coils. But this actually isn't the only air power prototype that I've got for you guys today. And here it is. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got two air power. And this one is even more ludicrous, okay? This guy has 22 charging coils. 
these clusters, which are conveniently in each cell here, each one of these groupings of gray transistors or resistors, these represent a single charging coil. So there's 22 of those clusters, and some of them have as few as three or four of these transistors. Some of them have like five or six even. So presumably that would correspond with the size of the charging coil. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a ridiculous amount of engineering for a problem that nobody had. And now right here in the center of this air power prototype, this chip is actually a really big deal because it's not an Apple chip. Previously, they were using this TriStar chip, which was basically what you would find in any old iPhone. But this, this is an Altera FPGA, which stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. And essentially it's a whatever you want chip. It can control and manage whatever you want. And in this case, what this shows us is that Apple was running into a limitation of what their own in-house designed chips could do. Because by the time you get up to these 22 charging coils, they had to resort to this Altera chip, which costs $80 per chip. Can you imagine how much air power would have cost if it was real with an $80 chip on board? I mean, the bill of materials for this is absolutely insane. I mean, there's probably like 50 miles of copper wiring in here. It's got graphite layers to keep everything cool. But I think if I'm gonna show you guys air power, we gotta show it working. Okay, so we messed around with the settings and we think using this power brick with a direct USB-C to lightning connection should get us a working air power demonstration. So here we have an AirPods 2 case because it doesn't have magnets in it and we think that magnets and MagSafe was maybe messing with it. Let's see what happens. No way. It charged very briefly. Oh my God. Actually, we'll do it again. Oh my God, it will. Dude, it is probably actually charged. We have working air power. I mean, what? Is it warm? Not really. But I guess it's only really using one coil. Like if I put it over here, I'm not really getting anything. <laughs> it's only using this coil up at the top. Let's try a phone now. Okay, here we go. This feels like an Ouija board. <laughs> it's a little confused and scared. It's okay, buddy. Okay, AirPods, okay. charging. Then phone. And now phone. <gasps> Just very briefly, it did flash. Let me try that again. I, th I think we're gonna have to repeat steps. Okay, unplug. Unplug. Re and then I'm gonna re-plug it in. And now first AirPods, quickly take that off, and iPhone. It charged, it vibrated. We got like one second of charge out of air power. That's a win. That's all you need. But we actually have a third air power here and it is unlike anything you have ever seen in your entire life. Here it is. <laughs> Folks, it's square power. <laughs> Look, it, there's a lightning cord right on top. It's got the same sort of exterior coating. This is what would have been on air power. We have this textured bottom here, which is sort of like a fabric-y Alcantara feel. And then on the top, we have this rubberized thing. It's, it's square power. I can't believe this. When Dongle Book Pro sent me a picture of square power, I was like, no way. But it's real. It's, it's real, folks. I bet you didn't see that coming, huh? How about that? When is this thing even from? 
Is this? I don't know. We know nothing about this. Yeah. So I mean, this is this is quite something. I mean, obviously, this is significantly larger. It's basically the size of two full air powers. So if you wanted to get complete coverage on something this big, I guess you'd need like 45 or 50 coils. Yeah. Oh my God. Obviously because it's covered, we can't see the actual chips on it. If there are chips, uh, it's been presumed. Perhaps this could just be testing materials. Maybe there's just a metal frame with this um, padded surface on top. And then, I don't know, I mean, it, it does feel very rigid. Like, look at this, there's no flex in this thing at all. Like, it, it is, listen to that. This, this is really, really solid. It, it's unclear whether this is a prototype that came before or after the rest of these air powers, but I would, I would wager a guess that this is from before because I, I think it would make a lot of sense. So if you think about it, the, the whole point of air power was that you would be able to put your device anywhere on the mat and it would charge. But with something this small, there's really not that many places to put it. So it, it feels like it doesn't really accomplish much. If you think about that idea, a mat where you can just toss your phone, then honestly, this makes more sense. Like if you had this on your bed and you could legitimately put your phone anywhere on it, to me, that seems more an embodiment what air power could be. So it honestly makes a lot of sense to me that you would essentially build this and then realize, oh no, it's gonna need like 60 coils on here. That's not gonna work. Let's shrink it down to something more manageable and also something with a round shape where it's easier to get coils out to these edges. <sighs> like, look, I know a lot of people were bummed when air power was canceled because, I mean, it seemed like a cool idea granted at the time, but to be honest, it's completely unnecessary. I mean, we're talking about 22 charging coils, heat dissipation, an $80 controller chip. Why do you need all of that stuff? Here's my charger. This can also charge an iPhone, an Apple Watch, and AirPods, but it costs like 50 bucks and it has three charging coils because you put your phone on one, you put your watch on one, and you put your AirPods on one. This is no less functional than this. In fact, you could argue that it's more functional because it actually works. And it was like 50 bucks. So it's like, why would you even need something like air power? And then in, in 2020, just two years ago, MagSafe comes out, which further removes all purpose for this entire project. And I don't know, it's kind of a shame because you look at this and it's obvious that a ton of work and hours and money and time was spent to develop this for nothing, <laughs> essentially. But um, here it is, it's immortalized here in these prototypes, never before seen, square power. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This has been an absolutely insane video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out Donglebook Pro. Big thanks to him for hooking me up with this stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.